Well, uh, I know many of you have kind of suspected it, and uh, I'm going to set the record straight right now, and that is that I am a Ruckmanite. Okay, now, you know, don't get excited. Just listen to the whole video, watch the whole video. I'm going to define a little bit later what a Ruckmanite is. But I just want to show you part of my Ruckman collection. First of all, got my banner here, the Street Preaching Banner behind me. Where will you, where will you spend eternity? In, or with God or Satan? Uh, of course, I'm over here. Thank you very much. Uh, but then I, also, I have uh, quite a few cassette tape sets. Here's um, how God opened my eyes to the AV 1611. Questions and answers. A bunch of miscellaneous little tapes here. Uh, I have four volumes of 16 tapes each on a lot of different subjects. Uh, evolution and church history. There's a church history tape set. Uh, Christian's history of music. Another tape set. I was buying these back before they had the MP3 CD sets out. Here in the front, of course, you can see over here is a big stack of uh, old VHS tapes, Drawing Men to Christ VHS tapes. Over here is another stack. Can't really get that on camera. And down here, of course, is DVDs, a lot of DVDs, some MP3 CDs as well. Uh, if you've seen other videos, you've seen my commentaries up above my head. And here they are. I have the entire uh, commentary, Ruckman, all of his commentaries on the King James Bible. Uh, he doesn't have all the books done, books of the Bible done yet, but uh, the ones that he has, I have them in soft cover. Here we have Science and Philosophy, The Power of Negative Thinking, The Anti-Intellectual Manifesto, another good one, Last Grenade. Alexandrian Cult Series, Christian Liars Library, Discrimination, the Key to Sanity, How to Teach Dispensational Truth, Ruckman's Bible References, a whole bunch of uh, Bible Believers Bulletins. Uh, there's a whole bunch of little booklets you can see there. I'm not going to go through all of those. Just on a wide variety of topics. Uh, here's Black is Beautiful. Oh, no. You know, <laughs> see, I'm open-minded. I'll study things like this. I, uh, I'm not narrow-minded and, and uh, bigoted, okay? Uh, I'm open-minded enough to look at different issues that most people are uncomfortable with. The Errors in the King James Bible, another good book. Sure Word of Prophecy, Two Raptures, How to Teach the Original Greek, King James Onlyism versus Scholarship Onlyism, Ruckman's Apocalypse, uh, nice book with a lot of pictures, a lot of his artwork in it. I've got to clear up some room here. Here's two of my favorite books from Ruckman. Uh, the Full Cup, Ruckman's Autobiography. And you know, some of you people out there that don't have much grace, uh, that are calling Ruckman a heretic and digging into his personal life and everything, you really ought to read the story before you judge the man, before you say he's lost and a heretic and everything. You ought to really read what went on in his life. You know, broaden your horizons. <laughs> and here we have Ruckman's Battlefield Notes. This is my favorite book that I've ever read from Ruckman. Um, a lot of where I'm at right now in my life is because of that book. And uh, let's see what else do I have here. This is most of what I have, too. Um, some of my stuff is out. Uh, people are borrowing it. Here you have the catalog, Bible Baptist Bookstore's catalog that carries all of Ruckman's information, all of his uh, materials. Just makes your head spin to look at all this guy has taught and preached on. You know, just a phenomenal teacher of the Bible. I have never seen anybody up to Ruckman's level of teaching on all the different subjects out there. I've never seen it. Um, I'd like to have somebody show me, somebody who's even come close to Ruckman as far as the number of books written, the numbers of videos produced, the numbers of messages, both sermons, both preaching Sunday mornings, and also special studies. 
uh, recorded. I don't know of anybody that can come even close to approaching Ruckman. Okay, and of course you have here James White's stupid little book. I'm going to be doing a video on this in the future. This one and the new one that he came out with, he had to revise it. Uh, but then this one here is Ruckman's answer to James White, the scholarship only controversy. Uh, very good book. Be open-minded and read them both. If you're going to be a James White, uh, well, I can't. I guess you can't really call you know Ruckmanite. You can't call Whiteite. I don't know. But if you're going to read James White's book, you really ought to read Ruckman's uh, book to refute it. Um, but I just want to clear up something. You know. Right now, I'm sure a lot of you out there, my uh, adversaries, enemies, whatever you want to be called, I don't care, you know. The fact is, a lot of you right now are saying, oh, I told you, I told you, he's a Ruckmanite. He's even admitting to it. Well, uh, what is a Ruckmanite? See, I mean, you can make the claim for me, all right, because obviously I have quite a bit of Ruckman's materials here. I have read, I have studied under the man, and uh, so you can call me a Ruckmanite. But, you know, there are a lot of people out there that don't have the collection that I do, or even any books, or even really anything from Ruckman. No, see, the fact is, you will be called a Ruckmanite simply for believing this book. You might not know the first, excuse me, you might not know the first thing about Ruckman, but you are a Ruckmanite if you are a King James Bible believer. King James only-ism, as they say. Now, why do they do that? Why do these new version people why do they want to make it about a man? Well, simply because they cannot handle the truth. They cannot handle the information that Dr. Ruckman has presented. So they turn it into a situation where you are ridiculed. And most modern Christians cannot handle ridicule. They would rather die. They would rather lose all their money than be ridiculed for their faith. Okay? And so the new versionists, they know that, and they play on that fear for people. They know that, that modern Christians don't like to be called names. So they, oh, you're a Ruckmanite. You're one of those Ruckmanites. Uh. Well, I'm going to look at a little bit here about this whole Ruckmanite thing. Okay, if you want to see a good article, I'm going to put a link down here in the description area for this video. Uh, Chick.com, they have a real good, inf uh, good thing about what is a Ruckmanite? I think it's actually from Sam Gipp's book, The Answer Book. Uh, so you can go there, check that out, read it, if you've been called a Ruckmanite. But uh, typically what these people will do is they will try to disprove Ruckman by bringing up something like Ruckman's stand on abortion. Now they'll say, Ruckman supports abortion, he's for abortion. Uh, no, I don't believe that. Where Ruckman debates the issue is he teaches that a baby is not really a baby until after they take their first breath, when they've left the womb, okay? And so people see that and they go, oh, you know, and he says abortion is not murder because the technically the baby's not alive until it comes out of the womb and takes first, first breath. Well, I'm sorry, I don't believe that, okay? I'm not a follower of Ruckman on that particular point. I think he's wrong on that. He is not supporting abortion by saying that, okay? All he's, simply, he's just making a debate over the thing, and quite frankly, he's wrong in that. I believe that a baby is a baby at conception, okay? And you can get into the mechanics of that. I'm not going to here on, the, uh, on this video, but I think that when a baby is formed, that baby is considered a human being, and it's living at that point, all right? So... Do I agree with Ruckman and everything? No, of course not. But, you know, people still classify me as a Ruckmanite, I'm sure. Uh, and it's interesting because I've, ha I've read things and seen things from people that they claim that Ruckman is lost, that he's not saved because he has this view about abortion not being murder. They say, well, he can't be a Christian. Since when has that ever been the standard for whether you're saved or not? Okay, that's not the standard. All right, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. What you believe about abortion, one way or the other, is not going to mean the difference between you going to heaven or hell. Heaven and hell, your eternal destination is determined by your relationship to Jesus Christ. 
This is about Jesus. It's not about abortion. Okay? And let me tell you something. All these tapes, all these videos, all these books and everything, and yet you can only find a few points against the man? How would it be if we interviewed you and looked at all of your personal beliefs and all the things that you've ever said? How would you like to be recorded over 30, 40, 50 years of ministry? And, all, and, and some of the attacks on Ruckman are just hilarious. I mean, it's funny. He's a white supremacist. He's uh, anti-Semitic. I mean, yeah. You, 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 there's, there's no end to the amount of ridicule that comes against this man because the people can't handle the material. All right? But I just want to make another point here quickly.